the couple made an entry on a speedboat. The only downside was the couple was completely drenched. The groom wanted to get a horse on the ship. We have been denied to eat food at the venue. We were doing a wedding on a cruise ship. We had actually rented the entire cruise liner and we were cruising in the Mediterranean. Now, um, we tried our best. The dhula, the groom, wanted to get a horse on the ship to uh, sit on for the Bharat. Now, you tell me, we tried our best, but in Italy, it was impossible to convince the crews to allow us to get the horse on the Bharat, on the ship for the Bharat. I remember one of the instances where we had the bride who wanted to dress up like Deepika Padukone in Padmavat. So we actually curated the entire scene of Padmavat with the dances and with the music and the craziest and the wildest and the largest sets of Padmavat for the bride to make her entry. And it was truly magical. She felt like a complete princess and it really turned out very beautiful. I remember uh, this one engagement that we shot in Delhi. It was a one day affair and the entire setup has been turned into a Tokyo. More than that, uh, we got picked up by Lebozin. So it was like one of those different experiences that uh, I have. Uh, it, it felt like luxury. Both families being religious by nature and took it to the next level when the couple made an entry as Ram and Sita. The groom and the bride made their entries in their respective chariots and it was something every single mythological series filmmaker would be proud of. This was like a reception setup. That setup took 60 to 80 days. They had this amazing entry, they had this uh, proper setup created of the movie Ram Leela, uh, the dancers, the choreography, and everything was done top to the point. Coincidentally, like where we keep our camera bags, like you know, there was this guy standing, and I just asked him, like, hey, uh, uh, So he's like, hey, beta, bas dekh rao. like, kaise dekh rao? Hai. Like, hum log ne hai, hum log ne kiya hai. I was like, oh, nice, 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 for you, there's a separate set, uh, counter that you have to go. The only problem what we faced during that time that we are actually uh, on tours to like uh, 16 to 18 to 20 hours. So for us eating food, it comes much later because for us capturing the moments, making sure the shots are taken, making sure everything is done and we are the one who eats late and, we, and it's not uh, that way like we'll go everyone in one go like you know we'll keep we'll keep sending our teammates and making sure everyone has eaten i think this has to be registered because since it has been picked up from a foreign culture and uh, and it is still going on, I won't deny it. I just wanted to put it out and inform us beforehand. Instead of we been there at the shoot and we been said, oh, you can't eat that. So uh, that put us awkward for everyone. So